Did you know that the butterfly is actually deaf? That's why it's the symbol for the Canadian Hearing Society and the Canadian Hearing Society's Awareness Week. I'm here today because I'm going to be deaf for a day. You would never think that a radio personality would be deaf for a day. But uh, I am going to be fitted with these hearing aids and then I'm going to have to go out and do a task as if I was deaf. No signing, no writing, and uh, we'll see how I do. I thought that being a teacher for the deaf in the past would totally help me out on this task, but I was told, uh, 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 I have a deaf buddy with me and if I sign, she's going to tap my fingers. So uh, let's go see how deaf people actually manage in society. So I just got my scenario. I actually have to go to a hotel and uh, plan a family reunion. So I have to require 20 rooms from certain dates. 10 rooms have to have like two double beds. There has to be smoker rooms. There has to be a family that has a dog. So I have to be able to say all this at the hotel without writing or without using sign language. So uh, I don't know. Do I have dirty ears? No, you don't. <laughs> if you have earwax, it doesn't mean it's dirty. Okay. Earwax is a good thing too, but not too much, of course. Cindy. Cindy is going to be my deaf buddy uh, for the task. So she's going to she's gonna help me if I, if I need help. Ear putty in the ear. They have so many different members of the It tickles. That's going into my ears to create ear molds. Oh, wow. Crazy how that blocks out sound. Okay, one and second. <gasps> So I'm in the car on the way to my task. Apparently, Boom 99.7 is playing. There we go. Now I can kind of hear it a little. I could, I could hear it was Toto Africa. Yes, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So I heard a little bit of it there. But apart from that, this is like, it's crazy. You walk and you hear like this echo in your body of, of just the sensation of walking. So uh, I don't hear the cars. I don't hear, I don't hear anything. It's... Um, Pretty nuts. So I'll see how I do at this hotel. Something you can't you eat? eat? You have an allergy or? Yes, that's what I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she has, so she's like, I'm, I don't think she ever wants to joke. No, that's why I was too to say. <laughs> oh, uh, to leave? leave? Or to lettuce? Or, I uh, don't know, that's a leave. <laughs> Flour. Spice? Flour? Wheat?
I can't Literally hear can't. anything, but I could I could Breathe. read her lips. Oh, I'm so hot right now. People are saying air conditioning. I'm like, yes, please. Oh my god, that, warm that in was crazy. I and think I did everything on my list. You did, and you're talking so loud. <laughs> are I talking loud? Maybe not. A we're on our way back to home base and I have to say that was not an easy task. Much harder than I thought and having taught deaf kids for three years I thought I understood the deaf world but this has really taught me a lesson. I almost got killed by a car. You have to pay attention when you're deaf. I was in the parking lot and a car just backed up and, and, and my buddy did that. She totally saved me. <laughs> I am getting my hearing back. Oh, ah, that was weird. Oh my god. Do you want to keep that? Souvenir. <laughs> you can take it to work. This is what I had in my ear that made me deaf. Kind of looks really weird. <laughs> I did!